Right, so back with a Proton. We're gonna get some little jobs done on this today. First of all, we're gonna get the door panel off this door and uh, see why it's not locking and unlocking. So at least we can get the car secure. So uh, I'll make a little video showing you where all the screws and nuts and bolts are and how to get the panel off. Right, so it doesn't look too difficult to get off. There's a few screws in it. There's one here, one here, one down there, and one on the end here, all Phillips head screws. And then there'll be clips all around the inside of the panel uh, that we need to release. So let's get those screws out and see if it comes loose. Okay, so we've got the door panel off. It's pretty easy to remove, just those screws. And also we've got a few clips on the back of it, uh, but they all sort of released by hand. So that was easy enough. Also, you've got to remove the window switch um, or the window switch, unplug it and leave it in the panel. So um, you just got to press in that little tab there and that'll come loose. Now, the problem we've got is this doesn't move at all. It's completely, completely seized, completely stuck. So there's nothing really that can cause that to, to be seized apart from something inside the latch. So the latch is located down here. It's actually the bit that the door secures on when it closes. Um, but we've got to get it out to have a look, see if we can possibly repair it. Uh, now, to do that, we're going to have to get the window runner out of the way which is that bit in there and uh, disconnect these levers and uh, get it out and have a look. We can't fix it. Maybe try and source one. So here we go. Here's a latch inside in the door. Um, I've moved the window runner out of the way and I think we'll probably have enough room to get it out once it's unscrewed. So this down here, is a central locking motor. So I guess it's possible that the problem's within here and it's not allowing this lever to move up and down. So before we remove it, I'll just disconnect that and see if the door then locks and unlocks. Because that might be our issue. Okay, so that's disconnected. Ah. Now the door locks and unlocks. So that was seized before. Now it's not. Okay, so rather than the actual latch being faulty, it looks like the central locking motor down here is. But it looks like that's attached anyway. So I think we need to try and get that out and see what we can do with it. So uh, let's carry on. It's out little thing. Quite easy though. Um, right, so I think our problem lies in here with this motor because everything else seems to work. So I would guess that this 
has actually seized. So we'll have a look at that, see if we can free it off. If not, we may have to get a new one, if we can. I think we may have found a problem, guys. I've taken all the little screws out all around here and you can see the rust marks. It looks like water has been getting in here. Look, contamination of water over the years. That's your motor, which has just got horrible black stuff in there. And that motor is meant to turn this nylon gear to lock and unlock the door. But it looks like water's just been getting in there. And uh, yeah, probably seized this motor. Now I doubt very much we're gonna be able to repair this. So anyone got one? You guys in Malaysia? Not sure how easy it is to be able to, uh, to get one, but this is what we need. That's the part number, oh, Japan. Maybe it's a Mitsubishi part, same as a Colt, possibly. So, um, yeah, if anyone's got one, let me know, I need one. Okay, so unfortunately, cleaning up the old unit hasn't worked. Um, we've put it all back together, but no joy. So it's still not working on the central locking and it's still seized, so you can't actually lock this door at all still. Now, I've managed to find a second hand one on eBay. Parts are so hard to get for this car, but I found one second hand on eBay for about 20 quid. Hopefully it'll work. Let's fit it, see what happens. Okay guys, so that's the second hand door mechanism fitted. We now have a locking door, which is great. So that's one job done. Let's move on to the next one. Another delivery for the Proton today. Here's a new near side front indicator lens. Let's get it fitted. So I think this is pretty easy, I hope. So this is a spring that holds that light in. So, see what happens when we release this. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, literally all that holds it is this spring. And it hooks, hooks in and holds the light in. So, it might be a bit more difficult to get back in, but not too bad. Okay, guys, there's a new light in. Looks a lot better. Puts the other one to shame now, unfortunately. So, I think I'm probably going to replace that one as well at some point. Problem is, I couldn't get genuine ones, so this is an aftermarket part, which I'd prefer to use genuine lenses if I could, but I can't get them. So if anyone knows where I might be able to pick some up, let me know. But for now, that'll do the job. Uh, so yeah, that's done. Next thing we're going to have to do is get started on the engine, do a little bit of maintenance, uh, do a service. So I'm going to try and get some parts in for that and um, then we can move on. Uh, also, this engine bay needs a terrible clean. It's so dirty. It's filthy everywhere. So uh, you're gonna have to wash that down as well.
Okay guys, so that's the engine clean. Looks a lot better. We'll probably work on this a little bit more, but it's got the worst off. You can see all the dirt is around it. Most of it's gone. So it's going to be a lot nicer to work on. I know some of you will tell me off for jet washing an engine, but it's better than it being filthy. And uh, as long as you spray it with water dispersant afterwards, you generally get most of the moisture out. And being that we're servicing it anyway, we're going to be taking the spark plugs out so we, we can, if there's any water's got in there, we, we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. Um, but yeah, it looks a lot better. So um, yeah, we just need to get some parts together. See if we can get some service bits and pieces for it, some filters and some oil and uh, carry on. Okay, so we've got the service bits in. I'm gonna save this for the next video, but we've got new fuel filter for it, spark plugs, we've got some decent oil, front and rear pads, oil filter and an air filter. So um, we've got a few bits done today. Uh, got a couple of problems sorted with the car. So the next one, we'll move on to the engine, start doing the maintenance and getting that up to scratch and uh, think about doing the timing belt. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please subscribe if you did and uh, I will see you in the next one.